a blessing it is to gather together and worship our God. Please be seated. Now we will have Deacon Jungro Wee lead us in a word of prayer. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, thanks for keeping us safe in our guidance, your guidance and grace, even in the middle of busy life. We come into this worship where Jesus Christ is present. May we glorify in Bible, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I give you rest. Despite these words of the Lord, we confess that we were the sons and daughters of the Lord who were weary with the heavy burden of life. O oh Lord, allow us to rest in our weary hearts. Let all worries and concerns be gone and the comfort and hope overflow in our hearts. Fill our souls with your unfailing love and abundant grace. Restore joy and gratitude. Lord, give us the strength and the courage to love more with one another. Please allow us to have a heart touching as we listen to the message of truth given by Reverend Paul Han. Let this worship service to be full of grace and inspiration. O oh Lord, our awake ministry has been past 23 years since it began. Now it is a 23-year-old mature tree. We hope to bring more people and young generation into this service so that this mature tree is getting bigger and bigger. Allow us spiritual wisdom and power to realize it as soon as possible. May all of us who join to English worship afford to carry out the ministry of service entrusted by our church. Also, we wish our young generation who belong to AM will be brought up as many global servant leaders. May let them play a key role in world Christian missions near future. The world order is in serious chaos due to the war between Ukraine and Russia, as well as global economic instability. And the coronavirus has not yet come to the end. May the world economy be stabilized as soon as possible and end the corona disease. Save the weak, poor countries and peoples. Ever living God, especially we pray for the missionaries, they and their families at home and abroad are facing many difficulties financially due to the COVID circumstances. Help them protect them to overcome all the problems wisely and spiritually. The praise team and choir with orchestra offer praise of glory to God. Please accept it with delight. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. 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 Our scripture reading today comes to us from the book of 1 John, chapter 4, verses 13 to 18. Listen as Deacon Min Sok Kim and Deacon Yeran Jo lead us in the scripture reading. Listen to the word of God. This is, this is how we know that we believe in him and he knows. He has given us of his spirit. And we have seen and testify that the Father has sent his Son to be the Savior of the world. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, 
God lives in them, and they in God. And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God, and God in them. This is how love is made complete among us, so that we will have confidence of the day of judgment. In this world, we are like Jesus. There, there is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. Amen. Today, I want to extend a warm welcome to all of you joining us at Awake Ministry, Myungsung Church's English Worship. We are so glad to have you here. And if you are joining us for the first time, welcome. And I invite you to please come forward after our closing song as we would love to get to know you better. I would also like to invite anyone who feels called to help us lead worship by either leading us in prayer or scripture reading. If that is something that you sense on your heart, I encourage you to speak to one of our secretaries as we would love to have you. Let us all continue in our prayers for our church and nation and leadership as we continue in this pandemic. Let us pray for the full recovery of health for all of those who may be affected. And also let us pray for all who may be suffering from any ailments or illnesses. May all those suffering from illness please have a full recovery and may we please keep them in our prayers. We are continuing in our promotional activities for this department, both online and in person. And if that is something you want to become involved in, help getting the word out about our department and what's happening at Awake Ministry, I encourage you to please speak to our Deacon Paul Kim as we would love to have you. And finally, we are happy to announce the wedding of Dae Mi Woo and Chung Kyun Shin on Monday, October 10th at 1 p.m. at Noble Valenti Samsung venue. Um, may you congratulate them and please pray for this new family. Now let us prepare our hearts to worship as we join our Shoshana choir leading us in the song, Grace Alone.
for blessing us with that. Now let us hear the word of God as Pastor Paul Hahn will deliver the sermon entitled Never Far Away. Well, good afternoon. How are you guys doing today? Fine. Fine? Okay. Well, it's so good to see you today. Thank you for joining to worship together. May God bless you and hold you in his hand. Um, today, I want to talk to you about God's love, God's presence, and fear. St. Patrick um, he was a 5th century Christian ministry, a missionary. He was abducted um, when he was a teenager, spent six years as a slave in Ireland. Um, during those times, the faith of his parents became his own faith. One night he attempted an escape and successfully making it back to England. And since then, he studied Bible and taught people Bible and preached. Uh, but at around the age of 40, uh, God spoke to him in a dream and commanded him to go back to Ireland and proclaim the gospel and plant churches. At the time, the Irish people had the reputation for being violent and drunken. Many people they gave up. They lost all hope of reaching them for Christ. But Patrick obeyed and spent the rest of his life uh, serving those who had once enslaved him. When he died at the age of 77, uh, he had helped plant over 300 churches and he had seen over 100,000 people, Irish people, come to Christ. Uh, during one of his difficult times, he wrote this. Daily, I expect to be murdered or betrayed or reduced to slavery if the occasion arises, but I fear nothing because of the promises of heaven. How was this possible? Patrick was convinced of God's nearness. In his most famous prayer, we can see how he viewed the world through the lens of Christ. Well, this is kind of middle part of his prayer. Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ at my right, Christ at my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me. Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks to me. Christ in the eye that sees me. Christ in the ear that hears me. Patrick was confident that wherever he was, or whatever he was facing, Christ was with him. Our circumstances may change, but our eternal location is constant. It doesn't change. That you are in Christ, that you are in God, is a constant factor. When the days become dark, you face them in Christ Jesus. When sickness makes a visit to you, you face them in Christ Jesus. When major troubles come your way, you face them in Christ Jesus. There are things in this world that we need to know. We don't have to know everything, but there are important things we must know. Among them, the most important thing is the truth about Jesus Christ. Now, John the Apostle says, we know that we live in him and he in us. How does he know that? There are three reasons. Number one, we know that we live in him and he in us because... He has given us His Spirit. If the Holy Spirit lives in you, you know that you belong to Him. Number two, we know that we live in Him and He in us if you acknowledge 
that Jesus is the Son of God. Verse 15 says, If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in him and he in God. Third reason, we know that we live in him and he in us if you live in love. That's verse 16. Now, if you can do number two, that means number one is also true to you. In other words, if you can acknowledge that Jesus is Son of God, it is evidence that the Holy Spirit is in you. So if you can sincerely confess that Jesus is Son of God, and if you are living in love, then you know that you live in God and He in you. We go to Europe or to the States or other well-known countries, and then we take photos. We go to historic sites, we take pictures. Why? Because we want to remember and show other people that we have been there. Perhaps you cherish your memories of visiting or living in great cities like New York, uh, Paris, London or Berlin. Maybe you are happy or even proud that you've been there. But let's pause and think about the privilege of living in him. What a privilege it is to live in him. What a privilege. Have you ever taken photos because you live in him? Well, if you live in God, you can take pictures anywhere, anytime. Because wherever you are with him, that place becomes a historic site. Now, let's say this together. No fear in love. No fear in love. There is no fear in love and perfect love drives out fear. There are healthy fear and unhealthy fear. Healthy fear is a survival mechanism. It helps you stay safe away from danger. Your fear of fire keeps you safe from fire. Well, good afternoon. How are you guys doing today? Fine. Fine? Okay. Well, it's so good to see you today. Thank you for joining to worship together. May God bless you and hold you in his hand. Um, today, I want to talk to you about God's love, God's presence, and fear. St. Patrick, um, he was a 5th century Christian ministry, a missionary. He was abducted um, when he was a teenager, spent six years as a slave in Ireland. Um, during those times, the faith of his parents became his own faith. One night he attempted an escape and successfully making it back to England. And since then he studied Bible and taught people Bible and preached. Uh, but at around the age of 40, uh, God spoke to him in a dream and commanded him to go back to Ireland and proclaim the gospel and plant churches. At the time, the Irish people had the reputation for being violent and drunken. Many people gave up. They lost all hope of reaching them for Christ. But Patrick obeyed and spent the rest of his life uh, serving those who had once enslaved him. When he died at the age of 77, uh, he had helped plant over 300 churches and he had seen over 100,000 people, Irish people, come to Christ. Uh, during one of his difficult times, he wrote this. Daily, I expect to be murdered or betrayed or reduced to slavery if the occasion arises, but I fear nothing because of the promises of heaven. How was this possible? Patrick was convinced of God's nearness. In his most famous prayer, we can see how he viewed the world through the lens of Christ. Well, this is kind of middle part of his prayer. Christ with me, 
Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ at my right, Christ at my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks to me, Christ in the eye that sees me, Christ in the ear that hears me. Patrick was confident that wherever he was, or whatever he was facing, Christ was with him. Our circumstances may change, but our eternal location is constant. It doesn't change. That you are in Christ, that you are in God, is a constant factor. When the days become dark, you face them in Christ Jesus. When sickness makes a visit to you, you face them in Christ Jesus. When major troubles come your way, you face them in Christ Jesus. There are things in this world that we need to know. We don't have to know everything, but there are important things we must know. Among them, the most important thing is the truth about Jesus Christ. Now, John the Apostle says, we know that we live in him and he in us. How does he know that? There are three reasons. Number one, we know that we live in him and he in us because he has given us his spirit. If the Holy Spirit lives in you, you know that you belong to him. Number two, we know that we live in him and he in us if you acknowledge that Jesus is the Son of God. Verse 15 says, If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in him and he in God. Third reason, we know that we live in him and he in us if you live in love. Empty tomorrow of its sorrow, but empties today of its strength. When you run, it's difficult to change direction suddenly. If you spend much time um, worrying and fearing, you are running in that direction. To change direction, you need to spend as much energy and time with the truth. To change the momentum of worry and fear, we must repeat the truth as much as needed. So repeat the truth. Memorize it, say it, proclaim it, write it down, fix your eyes on it, keep listening to it, stick it on your walls, stick it on the window frames, stick it on your forehead, if you like, just like the Jews. Set it as a background image to your phones or computers. Do everything you can to immerse yourself in the truth. That is part of what it means to fear the Lord. We show our respect and adoration for him by taking his word seriously, by taking his truth seriously. Proverbs 28, 14 says, Blessed is the man who always fears the Lord, but he who hardens his heart falls into trouble. Now let's say this together. Take courage. Take courage. Take courage. Take courage. Courage has to do with our eyes rather than our wills. Courage has to do with what we are looking at. We use take courage rather than make courage. We do not generate courage. We receive it. Uh, there is a recurring theme in the Bible um, when the Israelites were standing just outside the promised land with their enemies ahead of them. God said, be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. That's Joshua 1.9. And years later, when they, facing, when they were facing exile, God said, do not be afraid. For I am with you. That's Isaiah 43.5. 
Or in the famous Psalm, Psalm 23, David says, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. When Jeremiah was hesitant to go and speak to the, his people, God said, Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you and will rescue you. When Jesus commanded his disciples to proclaim the gospel and to make disciples, he added, he gave this promise as well. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Matthew 28, 20. Now when Paul was facing difficulties as he was preaching the gospel in Corinth, God spoke to him in a vision. Do not be afraid. Keep on speaking. Do not be silent, for I am with you and no one is going to attack and harm you. So whatever you face right now, God says to you, I am with you. God says to you, I am with you. The same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is alive in you. Amen? Amen. The same spirit that, we, that raised Jesus from the dead is alive in you. You have much more spiritual power than all the spiritual enemies coming at you. Now, there is a man named John Bolton. Why well, is not his real name? Um, because the story I'm about to share is his very personal story. I should have asked for his permission, but I don't know him personally, so I changed. I will change, change his name. Um, so I'll use a different name. Yeah. He said, I was a really horrible kid. I was so rude to my mother, who has MS, and I used to shout at her. Dad had the kindest heart, yet I was so rude to him. Age 14, I was a greedy, greedy child, and I stole from my parents over a long period. When he was 15, um, his parents found out that he had been stealing from them. He said, I will never forget that moment in the kitchen when there was lots of shouting and swearing. I hated everything about myself. I've become the worst human being. It all hit me. I ran upstairs, slammed the door, and then piled my furniture up against the wall, and I sat down on my bed. I remember hearing my dad come upstairs, he said, outside the door, I always remember these words. His dad said, John, I don't know what you're going through, but I need you to know that me and your mom love you. We try and pry provide for you. We've given you everything we have. Is that not enough? Or well, he said, the silence could have gone on forever. Then he heard his father say this. Please, son, open the door. I really want to hug you right now. John said, I have never in my life experienced Jesus like that. I've never understood the gospel more. That is a glimpse of how much God loves you. So take courage. The very well-known um, African-American spiritual goes like this. He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the tiny little baby in his hand. He's got you and me, brother, in his hand. He's got you and me, sister, in his hand. He's got everyone here in his hand. He's got the whole world in his hand. Amen? Amen. Amen. He's got everyone here in his hand. So take courage and remain in his love. Shall we pray? Lord, you are God of love. Your love is perfect. Your love drives out fear. Holy Spirit, come into the hearts of those who need to experience God's love right now. Come and fill us with God's love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
pray over this offering. Lord, you have loved us lavishly. You have blessed us so much. We offer some of what you have given us with a cheerful heart. We pray that you will use it for your glory and for the upbuilding of your church. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you everyone for coming to join worship together. Uh, may God bless you and your family and pour out His grace on whatever you do in Him. Uh, we have um, two newcomers today. Uh, would you please stand up where you are so we would like to welcome you. <laughs> okay. Very welcome. Yes. We have come to the right place. I, as I said last week, um, you are blessed because we'll start praying for you from today. And that's our promise. So you are blessed and we'll continue to be blessed. Uh, we also thank our very own Tehillah praise team and our very own Shoshana Choir and also those who uh, read the scripture and prayed on our behalf. Shall we bless them with a round of applause? Thank you, God bless you all. We are very blessed to have you. Now let us all stand together. And let us greet one another and say, There is no fear in love. There is no fear in love. There is no fear in love. And again, perfect love drives out fear. So remain in Him. Remain, remain, remain in Him. Remain. And finally, keep repeating the truth. Keep repeating the truth. Yes, keep repeating it. Keep repeating the truth. That's very important. Our final song is Name of Jesus. That was the second song we sung as we began our worship. Jesus is our shelter. He is our salvation. He is our answer. Amen. There's power in His name. So let us sing together.
Let's pray together. Now that may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God our Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with everyone in the Awake Ministries, their families, Myung Sung Church, and our countries now and forever. Amen. Amen.